Hey guys, and welcome to part three of my new series, All About the Planet. For the uninitiated, every day I cover a different planet in our solar system, going by distance from the sun, though it will exclude Earth and replace that with Pluto. In today's episode, I will be covering the planet that is one of, if not the, best contender for extraterrestrial life, well, and human colonization, Mars. Now, before we get into the world of the red planet, I would appreciate like like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Now, some of you may have watched the video that I made about four weeks ago, where I talked about what is needed to actually create a colony on the planet. This actually ties into this video about not a bit. So if I repeat some stuff, just deal with it. Anyway, Mars is the second smallest planet at only about half the size of Earth and a gravitational pull only one-third as strong, so you would jump three times higher on Mars. Despite this, Mars has two moons, both of which are tiny asteroids no more than a few miles in diameter. The bigger one might actually cause Mars to have rings in a few million years because it'll get too close to the planet and ultimately get torn apart due to its tidal forces. Mars is about 52% further away from the sun than Earth is. So, just like Venus, if it had an identical atmospheric condition and composition in albedo, which, by the way, is how much light is reflected off of the planet, it would be borderline uninhabitable. Again, however, Mar Mars isn't identical. However, it's inhospitable in ways that are wildly different from Venus. For starters, Mars has no magnetic field, though, which has caused the solar wind to rip away most of its atmosphere, leaving a thin shell that is 96% carbon dioxide, 3.5% nitrogen, and 0.14% oxygen, among other gases. And because of this, skies on Mars are pink. Temperatures vary wildly on the planet, ranging from 7 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius in the equatorial summer day to negative 220 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 140 degrees Celsius during the polar winter nights. Uh, However, Mars is actually very similar to Earth in a couple regards. For one, it stays only 37 minutes longer than Earth, making timekeeping a key walk compared to the nightmares that are Mercury and Venus. In addition, it has a similar actual tilt of 23.5 degrees, so it has seasons and seasonal day-night cycles similar to Earth. Oh, and one more thing. Mars is red because of iron oxides in the soil which have a reddish tint. Okay, so on the surface, Mars seems like a pretty desolate and boring place. However, it's been the center of studies for not only human colonization, but a contender for extraterrestrial life. It's been theorized that Mars was a warmer, wetter world billions of years ago, and these conditions may have su supported microbial life. Even today, Mars has significant ice deposits in the form of poor ice caps, so and recently, evidence has emerged that Mars might have some subsurface lakes near the poles. If microbes could develop there, they would have to be adapted to low light conditions, cold temperatures, and very salty water. However, extremophiles have developed in these conditions on Earth, so it's reasonable to assume that something similar is happening on Mars. Unfortunately, the chances for a full-blown Martian civilization living there is extremely low. But that might be for the better, considering how hostile they can be, at least in movies. However, as I talked about in my Mars colonization video, human colonization is also very possible. I talk more about what's needed to actually create a stable colony in that video, so if you want to know more, then go check that out. But the gist is, all you really need is protection from the harsh solar radiation, the low temperatures, and the toxic atmosphere all of which we have the technology to make and even use in our everyday lives. No wonder Elon Musk is considering making a full-fledged city there. We can actually make it, it's just that we have to actually get to Mars. And on that note, that wraps up this video about Mars. As always, I'd appreciate it like the video, subscribe to your channel, and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future content. Thanks and have a great day.